welcome back to my youtube channel friends hope you are doing well hope you will be fine also so today friends i am with another exciting strategy or you can say topic how to pass uh, 17 math 21 that is uh, 17 scheme maths so in this video i will tell you some effective strategies how to conquer this uh, crucial subject over here either you are struggling or just looking for how to pass uh, this subject so this video is for you my dear friends so let me tell you first uh, maths itself is a uh, practice subject so you have to practice first then only it will become easy for you people otherwise if you don't practice simply then it will be more difficult for you people to pass this subject so there is simple strategy if you just ponder over one day or two day before exam so easily you can uh, conquer this subject over here so let me tell you guys first three modules are just simple these are pu based concepts if you look at here so first module the name of the module is linear differential equation with constant coefficients so name itself says it's a linear differential with the constant coefficients then second module linear differential equation with variable coefficients so then module 3 is partial differential equation so these three modules are very simple as far as the rest of the modules are concerned so guys uh, first of all you should attempt the module 3 you can easily get 20 marks in this particular module so the concepts are you can look over here this is the partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary function then this interface will come to you solve uh, dou square z by dou x square is equal to a square z uh, this is example which i have taken over here under the conditions when x is equal to 0 dou z by dou x uh, is equal to a sine of y z is equal to 0 this carries 7 marks you can refer your uh, previous year paper and look uh, these type of questions were there uh, and you have to focus on these particular topics <clears throat> actually uh, the modules contain two parts you have to just focus on only one part over there if you check your also a syllabus copy there you will find uh, these topics so you have to cover only one part of this module and this question also this is the definite question from this particular module which carries seven marks over here so this is one dimensional wave equation or oh, in the R part there is also one definite question one dimensional heat equation out of these it is your choice uh, to select I, I will just prefer you just uh, focus on this particular one part then only you can score 20 marks in this particular module then with, uh, we can check over here the module first it is also a simple basic concept so this is a, a linear differential equation with constant coefficients so first question will be solve uh, like that d cube plus 6d square plus 11d plus 6 uh, into y is equal to 0 this is also an example which i had taken from previous year paper so in this uh, particular question you have to just play with auxiliary equation and particular integrals the solution will be just four or five lines uh, it is enough for you people to uh, trigger this question over there then method of undetermined coefficients is there so they will ask you suppose solu y double dash minus 5 y dash plus 6y uh, 6y is equal to e, e power 3x plus x so guys uh, sometimes they will give you like that it is also the same term y double dash is also equal to d square y by dx square minus 5 y dash is also dy by dx it is just a uh, what we call as notation which we can change over there like uh, this and like this so then in, uh, then you have to attempt the module second which is also a simple topic linear differential equation with variable coefficients so you have uh, these two, uh, two questions or these two topics you have to cover over there so the first one is uh, uh, solu x d square y by dx square minus 2 y by x is equal to x plus 1 upon x square just you have to put uh, like uh, these let t is equal to log of x in these type of questions so you have to focus on this topic and then another part which is the most important it is a most asked question in video examination that is modify the equation into clarat's form and hence solve it xp square minus py plus kp plus a is equal to zero obtain it is general and singular solution if you just check your papers you will see this question in most of the question papers also module question paper it is there so this is non-linear differential equation so uh, module second is over then come to the module uh, fifth first uh, so there is a laplace transform 
one question is definite but there are a little bit more uh, i think uh, five or six functions will be there so you have to focus on them and just apply unit step function on uh, those questions so then examiner will ask you like that suppose i have taken a function over here is f of t is equal to cos of t zero is less or equal to t less uh, less or equal to pi one pi is uh, less than t less or equal to two pi sine t t is greater than two pi like that they will give you the question on unit step function you have to ponder over here on this particular topic it is the most important question as far as this module is concerned so then inverse laplace transform of the function these two topics you have to cover in this particular module unit step function and inverse laplace transform there are some formulas you have to remember over there then only you can uh, you can attempt this particular question and this uh, carries a 6 plus 7 that is 13 marks then come to the module fourth uh, there are also two parts over there one uh, one is integral calculus integral calculus in this integral calculus part there are two topics one is double and triple integration but i don't uh, by what i didn't have written over here just because it is a typical topic for some students they cannot try over there just because it is a double and triple integration over there it may be typical for some students i just i have taken one part over here that is gamma function it is always asked in video examination derive the relation between beta and gamma function as beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n it also carries seven marks just remember this question this will be definite uh, definite question from this module so that i have just taken only one question from module four so guys you have to attempt all the modules don't leave any module if you don't know uh, any other questions just write the given data then only you can uh, easily pass you just have to if you don't know anything about uh, and the rest of the questions just write the given data on the question paper you will get one one marks over there also so we will count the uh, numbering now so this is uh, 13 plus 7 that is 20 20 plus 20 that is 40 40 plus 13 that is 53 53 plus 7 that is 60 60 plus 6 is 66 so students uh, isn't it amazing that uh, you are getting uh, 63 marks in this particular uh, subject out of 100 without uh, going to uh, going in depth in this particular subject so students only focus on these particular topics you will easily pass this subject i'm guaranteeing you you people that if you focus on this particular subject and you practice uh, until you practice then only you can uh, it, uh, this subject will become easy for you people so i hope uh, friends you have understood uh, all the concepts which i have discussed in front of you these are not just the laconic utterances uh, which i am uttering from from my mouth so these are experience based and just uh, we, uh, I, we are also the students of video so we can understand the strategy how the video uh, video sets the papers for the students so i hope guys this video is uh, beneficial for you people so make sure you will share it uh, so uh, if you are new to my channel subscribe my channel and uh, uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon over there. Thank you.